how do you start freelancing as a software developer? So the benefits of freelancing over doing full time is you get to work your own hours. You get to have a direct impact on your hourly salary. So on my, for example, at a full time job, your hourly salary might be thirty dollars an hour, and they may, that may increase if you become a software a, a um, senior level or you uh, you get a, a raise at the end of the year. You, um, you have to wait a year or two to get a raise. Now, a freelancer, um, you could work for one project, do really good, get a really good testimonial, get a, a, a good review, good, a very good pro, a, um, a portfolio added on there, and then a month later, increase your salary by 20 or 30% just by one portfolio because you did really great. So you're your work impacts your hourly salary um hourly salary very quickly um now how do you become a freelancer so the first thing is that when you're doing full-time job i highly recommend don't quit your day job and become a freelancer at least at the beginning the first thing you should do is after you do full-time so at after five o'clock when you get home work from like uh 5.30 to like 7 o'clock freelancing. You, um, you should dedicate that time or the morning. You can do it in the morning as well, but I do it at night. Um, I'm not used to I do fr freelancing full time, but at, uh, for 5.30 to like 7 or 7.30, dedicate that time to freelancing. If you don't have a project, we'll dedicate that time to finding clients. So the first thing I recommend is you to go to Upwork or a freelancer. That is a very good site to get on when you're new because you get a whole bunch of people on my you get a big giant community that wants work done you'll be a part of it and you'll have traffic going to you you'll find a a, a gig within maybe a month maybe two months uh maybe even sooner than that but just on um, my dedicate your time um, uh, um applying to projects on Upwork or Freelancer, I recommend Upwork. Uh, Freelancer is a lot cheaper. They pay you a lot less, but uh, that's really for the beginner uh, Upwork. I really don't recommend Upwork if you were in the game for like six months or more, just as a beginner. Because they do really, um, Upwork is, is all about having the cheapest work done in the quickest way possible and is a little stressful doing really cheap work as fast as possible. But in the beginning, it's, um, it's very nice. So apply for a work and um, I dedicate, you know, 5.30 to 7.30 or in the morning from like six to eight, which are just two hours, one and a half, two hours of work and um, apply for jobs and, and just try and, and do work. And you'll do, you'll get stressed out a lot for a little bit, but once you, have enough clients or your hourly salary meets your um, your minimum requirements. Like let's say you only spend, you know, uh, two grand a month. You know, you need to make at least two grand a month in hourly salaries from freelancing and then you can quit your job and become a freelancer full time. So try and, um, uh, try and meet your your salary. So if you make thirty dollars an hour, you should try and shoot for you know maybe forty or fifty or maybe even sixty dollars an hour before you even quit your day job. With Upwork, uh, I recommend that for for beginners, but I do recommend you you um, create a blog and then try and get clients that way. They'll they'll come to you and ask you you know hey. Do you want um, uh, to work with me? Um, uh, I'll pay you this amount of dollars and this amount of dollars for this amount of time, for this app. I really recommend starting a blog. Uh, you can do that at the beginning. When you're still working your full time, I do recommend starting a blog. Highly recommend because then you get paid more because uh, Upwork takes a fee and you know Upwork wants cheaper. It's all about being cheap and fast. So I do recommend getting off Upwork as fast as possible, but it's very good for starting out and very good for finding out if freelancing is good for you.